Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're talking about the British Dapper's 10 Summer Essentials. So it's that time of the year in the UK where we're now heading into summer and uh, that brings me on to the subject of a more casual way of dressing for the summer months. Um, not ideally the time of the year to start wearing suits uh, and dressing more formally especially when the temperatures are quite high and uh, so the idea of today is to give you my 10 essential things that I would be looking to wear during the summer months and the reason why. So the first item on the list is going to be shorts. Now, if you're going to the beach or you're going to a casual barbecue in the afternoon or an evening event that is very low key, then you might consider in the warm temperatures to wear a pair of shorts. Personally, I would tend to opt for a pair of shorts that go just above the knee. Um, if you're going to go longer than the knee, then you have to really be the sort of person that can carry it off. And I would suggest that these cargo pants that go to uh, three quarter lengths are not the ideal thing unless you've, you're quite a tall and lean person to carry it off. Um, and again, going the other extreme, if they're very short, which we used to call nutcrackers in the day, um, then I would suggest you've got to have a healthy pair of legs to be able to carry them off. Um, and not really the ideal thing for somebody that's 45, 50s and going up into their later years. That might not be a very complimentary look. But what I would suggest is uh, because of the summer months, then we are talking about lighter colours being worn rather than darker. So I would tend to opt for... Uh, for example, a stone coloured pair of shorts um, that go really well uh, for those really informal occasions. That brings me on to number two on the list, which is long trousers uh, in the summer months. And I would tend to go again for something very similar to that. I would go for a stone coloured or a light olive coloured uh, pair of chinos or linen textured trousers to allow you a little bit of breathability, but it gives you a little bit more formality than actually wearing um, just shorts. So the third thing on the list is a short sleeve shirt. Now the reason why I say that is because in the summer months, um, whilst you could use a long sleeve shirt the majority of times, you may want to wear something a lot more informal if you're going to the beach, as an example, or something along those lines. So maybe a T-shirt. I would suggest a, a polo T-shirt, where it's got a little bit of a hint of a collar, um, and it's quite a relaxed fit, and not a bad look with a pair of chino shorts, or a pair of chinos, or a pair of uh, informal trousers. But you could also wear something along these lines, which is a collared shirt. This is a button down collared shirt, short sleeved, um, not too tight, not too restricted to allow you to breathe a little bit. Um, this has got quite a, a bright red uh, pattern, but you could use a uh, striped uh, shirt like this or a, a plain colored, but I would suggest adding a little bit of colour to that, uh, what we would consider to be quite a neutral palette for this time of year. The other thing you could do is go to the other extreme and start introducing the Henley, which has got no collar, but it's quite a formalised uh, t-shirt if you like, and maybe add some pa uh, pattern or colour to that design um, to give it a little bit more of a lighter, fresher, look. Number four on my list is the opposite to that and that's a long sleeve shirt. Now this is for the little bit more formal sort of wear 
where you're going to maybe a barbecue and it's maybe cooler in the evening or something along those lines, then maybe you want to dress a little bit more uh, formally. So I would suggest a long sleeve shirt, but I wouldn't necessarily go for a plain shirt unless a plain colour, unless it is quite a, an uplifting colour. So because you're wearing beige quite a lot, then maybe inject a bit of higher colour like a, a nice bright blue, azure blue, or uh, maybe quite a vivid pink to that colour. Or a striped shirt, a Bengal striped shirt always goes well with those chino shorts or trousers. So now we come to the fifth thing on my list, which is shoes. Now I'm going to suggest formal shoes, but what I mean by that is in a very casual setting. So for example, a pair of suede loafers or a pair of suede shoes or a light tan pair of shoes would go really well with either those chino trousers or those linen trousers that you might want to wear. But then that brings me on to number six on the list, which is more informal footwear. So for example, it might be along the lines of a pair of uh, deck shoes or a pair of plimsolls or something along those lines. Maybe a pair of skate shoes. But something that's quite a neutral palette, no logos on them, maybe to complement uh, those. For example, if you're wearing a polo t-shirt and a pair of shorts, then you might want to wear something along the lines of a pair of skate shoes or something along those lines. But if you're wearing something a bit more formal, like for example, the chinos, then you could still wear those. But if you want to upgrade it and start wearing a long sleeve shirt, and uh, make it a little bit for more formalised, then maybe you're looking at more the suede shoes, the, the uh, for example, the loafers, that sort of thing. Number seven on my list is a good pair of sunglasses. So, for example, if you're going to wear sunglasses, try and get a pair that fits your face shape. Um, Think about the other colours that you're going to wear in the outfit. So, for example, tortoise shell is quite a nice colour uh, on the frame, um, whereas you might find uh, steel or some other colours might not necessarily go so well. And it depends on the shape or the look of the sunglasses as well, depending if it fits in really with your the look you're trying to create. Now, summer in the UK is not always brilliant sunshine. Sometimes it's overcast, it's a little bit cooler. And therefore, I put in on my list at number eight, the Harrington jacket. Now, the Harrington jacket is thin, a little bit waterproof, or shower proof. So if it does get a little bit inclement, or if it is getting a little bit uh, cooler, can put that on and it still fits in with all the other stuff and I would suggest if we go for a taupe or a stone coloured uh, light jacket it goes really well and it's uh, quite a good look. Number nine on my list is in the evenings when it starts to get a little bit cooler um, but the Harrington jacket is just a little bit too much, it might be a little bit too stuffy, then maybe you'd like to wear something along the lines of a casual cotton jumper that uh, allows the air to pass through it, but gives you a little bit more comfort in the evenings and maybe is long sleeved. So I would always suggest maybe going for something that complements the rest of your outfit. And bearing in mind, we don't really want to be Mr. Beige all the time. So maybe a little bit of colour, a light pastel colour would go really well with those light coloured chinos or even those light coloured shorts. And number 10 on my list is a summer fragrance. For example, I use Blue Chanel. Um, another one that I use at this time of the year is Flores Elite. 
It's a lovely light fragrance. Both of them are light and fresh. Um, the uh, Blue de Chanel is a little bit along the lines of uh, slightly citrusy, sea air sort of vibe to it. Whereas the uh, Flores Elite is a little bit citrusy and it's a little bit more green woody sort of uh, fragrance but very light with it. And those fragrances are great in the summer. Um, we don't want a heavy fragrance to be worn in the summer months. Now the one thing I have missed off the list, which is an optional, so therefore it's not essential, might be a straw hat instead of maybe sunglasses, especially if we're going a little bit thin on top, it stops you getting that sun directly onto your head and it adds a little bit of character, but it is an optional thing. So we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, then please feel free to do so. We love constructive comments, so if you'd like to jot them down below, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you want notifications, just simply hit the bell, and hopefully when the next video is out, you should get a notification to tell you about it. So until next time, take care.